Hi guys, so I'm here to talk about some hip mobility um, activations and just drills that you can kind of go through on a daily basis, honestly, um, to help help build the range of motion. Um, and when you're building range or building strength, you wanna build it at the throughout the whole range of motion. So we're maybe strongest on one side and then the other, and you wanna build that strength through the entire range that you've got. So uh, starting in a figure four, I like, I like this one a lot, although it can be super tough. Uh, front knee is gonna be in line with the hip, ankle in line with the knee, same thing with the back leg. So you're in a true figure four. All you're gonna do is drive the front knee down, pull the right hip back, and pull the chest forward. So you should feel a stretch. So this one is more for a stretch first through the outside of the right hip. So you would hold here and breathe. And maybe every time it gets a little bit easier to pull the chest more forward, just make sure that you're not rounding. Once you round, it takes the pressure off the hips. So you wanna maintain a nice flat back, pulling the right hip back, pressing the left hip forward. To make this more active, what I'm gonna do is drive down through the right leg, the right knee, so I'm activating the external rotation on the right side in the hip, and then as if I can pick up the foot and the shin, I'm gonna push down with the upper part of the leg and the knee, and then release. So I'm gonna do that for a few seconds, fighting to lift, even though nothing's really gonna happen because the leg's not gonna come off, and then you're gonna relax and go a little bit deeper into the stretch. Then I'm gonna work internal rotation. So once I've done external rotation on this front leg, I'm gonna work internal rotation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the torso. Um, you can walk the hands back if you need to, but if not, you're gonna sit up tall and keep pressing this left hip forward. So I've got internal rotation here. You can take this as just a hold, just a stretch. If you wanna make this more active, I'm gonna really twist and reach for the back leg. And then same thing, I'm gonna drive down through the left knee and try to pick up this whole leg. So I don't want to tilt it this way. I wanna imagine that the whole thing is gonna lift in one piece. So find the internal rotation, push down, and then try to lift. So it'll activate the internal rotation from the hip, and then I'll release, deepen the stretch, go again. From here, I'm just gonna square it back off, and now lift to the ball of the foot, and press the knee open. So I'm just working this back leg, driving the front knee down, and trying to open up through the hips. So I come to the ball of the foot and try to open, fold to close, lift. So I can do that maybe five or six times and then move through the center line and just transfer to the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll first start with the stretch, pull the hip back, chest forward, leaning over the leg. I can make it active, press down, imagine lifting, deepen the stretch. Then I can go internal rotation. So you just wanna notice where the weaknesses are, where you need to build strength. I can really work the internal rotation, drive down and try to lift the shin, the leg, the foot. Then I'll work opening and closing one side, yes, five, six times. And then some other exercises that you can do just to work on the range, the mobility sitting up tall, you can start by just lifting and lowering the back knee. So this is a little bit different than the first one because the other one allowed the upper body to turn. And this is really just trying to keep everything square towards the front and lifting. If you've got that, once you've done a few reps, you can lift the whole leg. You can keep the hands, so it's gonna be more challenging with the hands off but make sure you're not overcompensating by like really leaning to one side. So you wanna stay as centered as possible to lift the leg, squeeze the glute and lower. Adding on, I can lift the leg and then circle and sweep it to the front. If you wanna take a little hamstring stretch, bend the knee, open, circle sweep, send it back. So I'm gonna lift all one piece, Bring the knee in, rotate around, sit tall, hamstrings. Take your time with these. So you have to be really, really patient when you're building 
uh, mobility and going through some of these exercises because they take longer uh, to get through. So that is kind of all the stuff I would do that on both sides. So again, I'd come back, just the knee lift, the whole back leg lift, and then adding in the circle of the leg with the hamstring stretch. So that's gonna be all of my floor stuff, and then I'm gonna bring it up to stand. All right, so for this, you're gonna need a chair uh, or just something that you can stabilize and hold on to. So really, really good strengthener for your uh, glute medius, um, which will also help with lower back pain. So oftentimes low back pain, yes, could be disc related, but it also could be due to weak glutes. So we'd wanna build strength there. Um, you're gonna need a block or something that can just elevate you high enough that you can really work the pelvis and the hips and get into this glute medius. So I have a chair or a stool, something to hold on to, and that's just for stability. I'm gonna balance one foot on the block, dropping the foot, I'm not really gonna step on it, so I'm not touching the floor, but I wanna dip the opposite hip out to the side. So the hips are gonna do this, from side to side. Then I'll push down and lift in the opposite direction. So push the hip out and you're like, I guess this would be like sassy girl stance or something, like really bad sassy girl stance, and then push down and lift the opposite direction. So if you think of the hips as like a measuring table or a plate, you're gonna think about lifting one side and then lifting the other side. You're gonna do 50 reps of that. I promise you the outside portion of the hips is gonna be lit up and then you're gonna do it on the other side. So you wanna make sure that you have somewhere to hold on to for stability. So that will help with strength. And then one more for the mobility. So you're gonna, uh, I'll angle this for you guys. Ideally, you have something a little bit higher that you could hold on to and create tension in the body. So the upper body uh, is not gonna move, the hips are not gonna move, and we're just gonna open up the leg and the hip. Um, so I'm standing on the right leg, keeping the hips as quiet, as square as possible, um, minimizing uh, the compensation. So what happens when things get tight, when we're not mobile enough, is the the structure starts to change to compensate for the lack of mobility that we have. So I wanna work within my range and my mobility. So I'm gonna stand up tall, lifting the right knee to the chest, create tension through the upper body, lift it as high as I can, then pull it back down in line with the hip. From here, I'm gonna press it out and open. So this is why you want tension on both sides, as open as I can, and then I'll start to lift the heel to circle it back. Circle it back, circle it back, circle it back. One squeeze of the glue, almost like a little donkey kick to finish, and then pull it in and down. And then I'll reverse that action. Send it back, the tendency is gonna be this. So the hips and the upper body is gonna want to move and compensate for the leg going back. So I, I will have not a lot of range here as much as I'm used to. Then I'm gonna open the knee, drop the heel, rotate, pull the knee forward, lift it towards the chest, and lower it back down. And I wanna do that maybe five or six times, and then switch and go to the other side. So those are some options that you can kind of play with um, to help with the mobility, the range, um, and then some of the strengtheners as well.